Hi, welcome to week two of DevCamp. This week we're getting started on CSS. This is video 2.1, which introduces CSS. We'll start making our site look decent shortly, but this video focuses on what CSS is and how it relates to HTML. If you haven't already watched the week one videos, you might want to start there. So just as a reminder, we're using glitch.com to build our website. Head over there, sign into your account, and open up the personal page you started last week. While you're at it, open up w3schools.com in another tab so you have it open if you need to look something up while you're working. So what is CSS? Up until now, our site has looked pretty basic. CSS is going to give us a chance to step up our game. With CSS, we'll be able to change fonts, add colors, change the position of the elements on the page, and a lot more. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. A style sheet is a list of the style rules on the page, like what a header should look like or what color you use to make the page. So CSS is used only to make things look nice. We use HTML, which we learned last week, for organizing everything on our page. Or to put another way, HTML is for content and CSS is for formatting. You can put these rules, the CSS rules, in three places, like right on an element, inside a p tag, for example, or in the head of an HTML document, or as a separate file saved with a .css extension. The cascading part of cascading style sheets refers to how you can have styles in many places on the same page, and those override each other. So a style on an element will override a style in the HTML head, and a style in the HTML head will override a style in the separate style sheet file. But why a whole other language? Why CSS? Why not do it all in the HTML? Well, if HTML was used to style the pages, each individual page would have to have the same chunk of markup that made the style for that page in it. But what happens if you want to update your site? If you change the colors or the font on your site? Say I want to make the page blue. Well, if I was just using HTML, I'd have to go through and make the same change to each page, repeating the same work again and again and again. CSS was invented to solve this problem. With CSS, you can create one sheet that controls all of your pages. And then, if you have to update something, you can just change that style sheet, and all of your linked pages are automatically updated to the new style. So how does that work? How do we link the CSS file? Well, we use the head element to do it. There's a tag called link that we use to connect other files, like style sheets and scripts, and that points towards the file we want to link. In this case, it's pointing to style.css using the href attribute, which we saw before when we were making hyperlinks with the a tag. The rel attribute specifies the relationship between the current document and the link document. We're linking a style sheet, so we put style sheet in there. Because this is such a powerful tool, we want to try to use a standalone CSS file as much as possible. Let's start by finding our style sheet. Look in your glitch project for style.css and click on it. We can see there's some default styles that are put in there. In mine, I have an h1. You may have one for your body element. Each one is followed by curly brackets. And then inside those curly brackets are declarations that change things like the font, the margin around the elements, color of the text. So looking at the sheet, we can see what the basic structure of a CSS file is. Technically, a CSS file is a list of rules. Each rule has a selector, the name of the thing you're styling. The selector is usually an element, like P or H1. Then the curly brackets of the selector hold a bunch of declarations, which are styles you're applying to the item you selected. And the declaration has a property and a value. The property is what we're changing about the element, like background color or font family. And the value is what we're changing that property to, like blue, green, or sans serif. Great work. I know that was a lot of talking. Now that we've got an understanding of what CSS is, head on to video 2.2 and we'll start putting it into action. Please feel free to rewatch any of the videos if you feel like you didn't quite pick it up the first time. See you soon. <laughs>